Hi, this is a quick video about detecting um, arsenic in water. What I'm describing here really is kind of a, a, an initial proof of principle lab laboratory study. So what we suggest is this. The powerful thing about electrochemistry um, and the powerful thing about electrochemistry with the combination of screen printed electrodes is electrochemistry is a very, um, a very deep science. There's a lot of scientific precedence in electrochemistry. And so people can really benefit from that. And the fact that when you combine it with um, high quality screen printed electrodes, you get um, a very sort of commercially viable, let's say, technology. So the question was um, that we were asked is how do I detect arsenic in water? And as always, there is always some scientific precedence for this. Um, and the scientific precedence in this case is... And there's a paper. Now, in the paper, they use a glassy carbon electrode. I will comment upon glassy carbon electrodes in a minute. Um, but I always, whenever I see the term glassy carbon electrode, I will always say, OK, well, you can do that with a, um, a carbon screen printed electrode. And I would obviously recommend ours. I have a bias on it, but I will. Um, but let's discuss the paper first of all. So in the paper, they actually take um, crystal violet and they do a... Um, I think it's almost like a um, polymerization using cyclovoltammetry. So electropolymerization really is quite an easy technique to do. If you're unsure about it, then it's probably worth reaching out to Zimmer and Peacock and we can include it in a webinar or um, we'll make a video about it. So we do um, electropolymerization or they do electropolymerization in their paper. Then they use, by the looks of it, they're using a voltammetric method um, it doesn't matter these days whether it's cyclovoltammetry, differential pulse voltammetry, square wave voltammetry. I suspect they're using square wave or differential pulse voltammetry and they have a signal versus concentration. And I can see they kind of highlighted it um, in the paper. So first of all, arsenic, is it detectable by electrochemistry? Yes. Um, in the paper, they use glassy carbon electrodes. Um, it's interesting from publishing a paper perspective, but I think you really need to translate that then on to um, screen printed carbon electrodes. My recommendation is not to use glassy carbon electrodes. We do have them at Zimmer and Peacock, but my recommendation is, for example, we have these hypervalue electrodes. Um, it's a bit of a long name, but ZPS um, HYP-000-0150. Um, I'll try and link to, at least underneath the video, and I'll try and um, link um, also to the pages. The reason I bring it up is just because a sheet of unsingulated electrodes, when I say unsingulated, you get a big sheet of them, but you can cut them out. Um, it's 145 euros, so that's really less than 50 cents each. So if you're reading a paper um, and it says, and we use glassy carbon electrode, then you sh you often, if not 100% of the time, you can translate it onto um, a carbon electrode. These ones are really high quality and low cost. Um, if you want to be a little bit more exotic, we also have a graphene um, electrodes as well. It's probably worth playing with the graphene versus carbon just to see if the limit of detection is improved. Um, and a pack of graphene electrodes is 390 euros for 200. So they are sort of more expensive. Um, and it's because the processing to produce graphene is more expensive than the processing to produce um, carbon. You will also need a connector for this as well. Um, we have a connector out there the ZP1000656, um, it says seven millimeter to three millimeter banana connector. That's generally what I recommend. So you can make electrical um, connection with it. So if I was to summarize this, then that, you know, we do get a lot of inquiries about detecting arsenic in water. And it's often because people are interested in um, testing deep well bores where they're bringing kind of water up to the surface through a well and it might be used for drinking water or it might be used for crops this kind of deep well water can have an arsenic in it um you can detect it by electrochemistry and specifically on a glassy carbon electrodes where they did this work and so you can almost follow the paper but i would suggest using um a carbon electrode and these carbon electrodes are so low cost you know the r d efforts at least based on the, on the electrodes, is not that expensive. So if you have any questions from Zero and Peacock, um, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Okay, thanks very much.